Hi, it's Elaine from Penguin Place Crafts. It's Monday. Usually Monday is my errand day. Today I'm going to stay home and get stuff done. So this is sort of an accountability post. So I can come back on tomorrow and say, you know, all those things that I said I was going to do yesterday, I got them done. That's the plan. Let's get a little closer here. Come on, chair. There we go. Oh, so yesterday, between Saturday night being so tired and then yesterday, I didn't really get all that much done, but I had, I printed up a new to-do list and I just, oh, oh yeah, I've got to do this. Oh yeah, I've got to do this. Oh yeah. Well, my to-do list only has space for 23 items. I got it up to 32. <laughs> The good news is, let's see, I've already got three crossed off, four crossed off today. So I need to get stuff done today. I need to get to those things that I put off because I had a craft show on Saturday. Powered by coffee. Funny story for you. Ever since, I think, Saturday... I have been getting notifications on my informed delivery that there was a package coming my way. And I was like, what? what? I'm getting a package. Oh, is it my Amazon order? Because I had to order a book from Amazon for a custom order. Nope. Not that. That says that's not coming till the 20th. Oh, is somebody sending me a surprise? Oh, is it my team will order? Nope, my team will order isn't coming from California it will land in New Jersey. Although, I got a bone to pick with Timu right now. Timu is advertising on Facebook an octopus hat using a picture stolen from a friend of mine. And I called him out on it. I, I put on Facebook, I commented on the picture saying, shame on you for using a stolen picture. And they're like, oh, we take copyright infringement very seriously. Click here to file an infringement notice. Well, I can't do that. My friend has to do it. So that's, that's taking time away from her being able to work on her projects to have to go in and fill out this infringement form to say, hey, you stole my pictures. Okay, rant over. Where was I? Oh, the package. I finally figured it out today. It's a subscription order that I have for the um, ground cocoa beans that I use in my coffee every morning. This is half decaf vanilla and half Creole brew, which is ground cocoa beans. So it's like half chocolate, half co coffee, and it's yummy. And it's decaf, so I can sleep later. Okay. Um, rabbit trails are going to be the end of me today. So I have a few recurring things on my list, like right at the top of the list. Every day I'm supposed to spend half an hour on my Whip It challenge for Lori. I think I've only done that twice in one week. Half an hour. Even if it's just 10 minutes, just get something done on that. Make some progress. I'm still in the middle of a proofreading assignment from the puzzle company that I do freelance work for. I've only done one of four pages today, so got to check off those. I'm still working on sorting patterns into these notebooks. I'm like, okay, if I just do 10 a day, that will help. So get that done. Um, I've got three listings that I want to get up on Etsy. I have three videos that I want to go in and update the description box so that the links that I promised will finally be there. Yeah, as I was getting ready for the craft show, I just ignored laptop work. So today I need to get the laptop up and get a whole bunch of stuff to going. I have three different free patterns that I want to release, but it's just, that's laptop work. Yeah. Laptop work takes away from playing with yarn. 
but I need to do it. I have one, two, three, four, five different small projects that are, no, make that six. I took out yarn for a new loaf cat. Six projects that are like restock from the craft show. But just like get them started. Where's the, try not to, okay, it's right here. I got this yarn. Sorry, as I try to. This chair does not like the carpeting in this room. I got this yarn from a a yarn gift, and it's sort of a cream-colored yarn, but it has little color flecks of blue, pink, green. Is there yellow in there too? Nope, it just looks like blue pink. Oh no, there's, there's yellow. The yellow sort of matches the cream, so it's hard to see. So I was thinking this would probably make a cute loaf cat. I have a small cake of this already up on my chair. So I'm going to play with the loaf cat at some point. I should do some of the other things on my list, but I want to make a loaf cat with that. My coffee cups, which that is also a free pattern on my blog, were very popular at Saturday's show. And I think I only have four or five left. That's something, if I had like 10 of them, like five happy, five sad, that would be a better um, selection for a craft show. So for the show that's coming up on the 28th, I want to get that up to about 10. So I want to make a cup of coffee cups. I'm looking at this list and saying, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff on this list. But it's doable. A lot of them are just little, little things. Like this morning, I got an email on Sunday that I had a library book overdue. It was due on Saturday. Apparently, someone else wants that book, so the library would not auto-renew it for me. Okay, if I get the book to the library before they open today, they will mark anything they take out of the book drop as being turned in on Saturday. So, ran over to the library and dropped that off and dropped something off at our town's blessing box. There was a snack I bought for my husband. He's like, eh, I don't really care for these. Okay, I'll put them in the blessing box. Somebody else will care for them. Just little things like that. Okay, I got that done. Cross that off. I told you about how on Saturday night, I was just sitting in my chair like, <laughs> I don't want to do anything. I don't want to go out to the car and get that project. I don't want to go back to the craft room and get that project. I did this morning. I cleaned up around my chair. I got new projects out there. I'm all set. I'm all set to work. But I finished the cow from the cow kit. So one of the things I might to do this today is to type up this pattern for me to use again and again because they have it in like six point type and I'd have to keep picking up and <laughs> really getting close to read. I like to have my patterns in like, not 72 point, like 14 point. Can you tell I work with Microsoft Word a lot? Actually, the, the point, point size goes back to CompuGraphic and my previous job is a photo type setter on a CompuGraphic. That was before people had laptops and could make up flyers and stuff like that for themselves. If you were going to do a flyer like, oh, we're having a, we're having a um, big garage sale, a street sale, and we want to distribute flyers to the neighbors so that they can put them up all around town. A lot of people didn't have personal computers to make flyers like that. So they would have to go to a print shop 
and say, here, here's this information. Can you make a flyer for us and ha pay to have somebody else do it? And that would usually be me. That goes back to the 80s. Yep. Okay, so I finished this guy on Sunday. And then I used my own yarn to make another one. So I want to make more of these. And I need to get this guy up on Etsy. I have been so slack lately in getting new stuff up on Etsy. And we're starting to get into the time when people start looking for Christmas gifts. One of my sales last week, when somebody bought the two giraffes, she said that she was doing early Christmas shopping before stuff sold out. So this is the time for me to get my Etsy shop all up to date with listings of the stuff that I've just made and get stuff moving. Okay. Do you think I made myself a long enough list today? How many things out of the, let's see, 21, so it's 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26 items left on my list. How many of those 26 do you think I'll get done? I would like to get it down to under 15. But some of these things, some of these things are long. Some are pretty, pretty short. We'll see. I'll check back in tomorrow and I'll let you know how I did today. So am I off to play with yarn or my, no, no, no. I am going to be a good girl. I'm going to go work on the laptop. So bye-bye.